Series 12 in Barnsley in the semi-final stage. And it was Aileen de Graaf who came through a decider on that occasion. I remember that being a particularly high-quality encounter, as was their meeting in the event prior. At Women's Series Event 11. Also at the semi-final stage where Fallon Sherrick averaged in excess of 102 in getting 81. the better of Aileen de Graaf. Two players who seem to bring out the best in each other more often than not when they go head-to-head. -head. Will they be able to produce 95. more of the same in this one? Winner, of course, will progress through to the quarter-finals. Johnny Bryan alongside 81. me to talk you through all the action in this one. And I think this could be the highest quality match we see or we have seen today. Well, the standard is... What we've seen in these opening first few throws, we could be in for a bit of a bar burner. Shedder got it down to 160 after nine, averaging 113. These first nine darts will stay there, of course. For double top, 160. How about this one, a 12 darter? 120. Just why is it? For setting a stall out from the start. Back for tops. As Eileen. Can't get down to a finish. Fallon Shedek for the 13 data. 13 data it is. Lucky for some. 1 0. What an explosive start from Fallon Sherrick to this encounter. And Aileen de Graaf, get used to this because sometimes she'll start 59. on 19, sometimes she'll start upstairs. You just got to get used to it with her. We did see a lot back in 2022. She had more success downstairs. 59. The female Madders Rasma in that department. Yes, Madders does like the uh, the plan B. Five. And I'm also in that school of thought as well. When I when I play and the twenties aren't working, I'll just go on the nineteens, and it seems to work for me as well. One hundred and twenty. But what is working right now is the trouble bed for Fallon Sherrick. Fifty-eight. Already. Nearly stealing the throw from De Graaf and may do so after this visit. This is a wonderful performance here in Hildesheim to get down to 141 after nine. And Alan De Graaf, this opening leg and a half right now, is trying to answer this onslaught from Sherrick, who's still on for it. Here we go. Trouble 19, double 12 for a 141. Inside this time, wires a 160 and inside for a 141. But wow, what form she has brought here to Hildesheim this morning. Yeah, we saw it. She was competing in a tournament last week in Portsmouth and we saw glimpses of this level from her. She does wrap it up and is back to back 13 dart legs for Fallon Sherrick. MBE, we can now add to her name, of course. Fantastic accolade and one that is richly deserved, I think it's fair to say. The impact 100. she has had on this game is unrivaled. Yes, other players may have achieved more on the dartboard, but when it comes 58. to the impact, nobody has had a bigger impact than Fallon Sherrick. 43. Yes, making the back pages of the newspapers when you're Making a name 83. in the World Championships a couple of years ago. As uh, Rod Studd, our learned colleague, said, shattering the glass ceiling. And right now, shattering the treble 20 bet. 180. Wonderful performances from Shedek so far. 54. And maybe finding form at the right time. 'm must say Alan de Graaf average is 78 so far Abby 60. it's very respectable in the women's game but Sherrick is just on another planet at the minute yeah Alan de Graaf can't get a look in in this match at the moment 95. can't really settle into any sort of rhythm with the way that Fallon's playing in this one she's not gonna get a look at a dart at double 52. in this one and that's the first loose dart that she's thrown in this contest. It really has been spectacular from Fallon Sherrick up until this point. And you do feel, she mentioned it at Q School back in January, that she does feel that that pressure has lifted quite a bit. 
with the likes of Bo Greaves Game succeeding shot. and Fallon Sherrick. Yet again, this is absolutely spectacular. It really, really is incredible. Still averaging well over a ton. But yeah, she said back in January that she feels that pressure Seven. has been lifted somewhat with people talking about the likes of Bo Greaves and she's just gone back to basics a bit almost and just focusing on the game and not everything that comes with it. Well, whatever it is, it seems to be working right now and I bet Eileen de Graaf will be 29. thinking, when was the last time she's played a best of seven game and not get down to a, a, a dart at a double? Which may happen here. Shedek. 140. Pepper in the trouble 20. I'm looking to steal the throw here and march 43. into a parade into the last eight. Yeah, Fallon Sherrick, of course, became the first female to hit a nine data on the Challenge Tour 56. earlier this year. Fantastic achievement. Another achievement, another first for Fallon Sherrick. 16. She does have so many of them. Just quickly, going to bring you up to date. Lorraine Hyde is 3-1 up on Robin Byrne. These all last 16 matches. Laura Turner tied at two apiece 96. with Sarah Mortimer. Dita Hedman and Makura Suzuki just getting underway in their last 16 match, as are Corinne Hammond and 100. Astrid Troburst. So Fallon Sherrick, this really would... Well, I was going to say that would put the icing on the cake in a very, very convincing display, a commanding performance from the Queen of the Palace. 98. And she'll be back for 52 as well to wrap up what has been a resounding victory and Alan de Graaf, you've got a feel for here this is, this is not a performance 60. that hasn't been too bad, she's scored decently but Sherrick has just been a different planet Game wow, simply wow, two 13s an 18, a 17, thank you very much Alan de Graaf, no answer Fallon Sherrick, keep an eye on her she means business, she's through to the quarterfinals whitewashing de Graaf by four legs to nil